The Snack Shack in Selsey has been in existence for over six years now and is a very important drop-in centre for young people in Selsey. Uh, Margaret, you are founder member and uh, also fundraiser, secretary, chairman. I mean, every, everyone does a bit of everything. That's what I'm trying yes, to get at here. Yes, 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 yeah, we are. Yeah, we all support each other. Even though we've all got individual roles, we do all try and, well, we do all support each other, definitely. And as a founder member with you and Marjorie being both founder members, how, how did it come about? What, what was the spark that said we need something in Selsey? It was a couple who have now moved to Egypt who um, went to the church down at um, East, East Beach and they've always had, a, they always had a vision of opening something for the young people. Um, and basically just one particular time he just decided he was going to do it so he just sent letters to each of the churches saying anybody interested. Um, my husband and I have both put our, our names up and so did Marjorie. And the five, so that made five of us, the three of us and then the two that have gone to Egypt. And that's what started it. And then we just got this van which was a wreck and had it done up by a company who did it for nothing for us. We were and £100 it, pounds in the yep. start. Yeah, yeah, we put the money in yeah, to start it off and uh, we had it in, East, in uh, Budget Car Park for two years. And run it from a van with those table and chairs outside. and and did exactly the same as what we're doing here, but of course but everything was outside to the elements. I was going to say very much yeah. our fresco. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is, this is far removed, yeah, exactly. isn't it? I mean, Marjorie, how did this come about? I mean, well, we, we've been there for about two years, and we decided to try and get them somewhere indoors. And the kids don't really mind being outside in the wind and rain, right, you know, right through the winter. So I got lottery funding, match funding, uh, £10,000, and we rented this and use the, money, the other money to renovate it and do the kitchen and all the other things. And we bought all the furniture second hand and lots of businesses in the village donated their services and goods in kind.